Hello and welcome to the Wayliner. This video is going to show you how you can add elastic onto something like the top of these shorts in one step using your Wayliner and your overlocker. Um, we know how difficult it is when you're trying to sew the elastic on and then flip it down to top stitch when you're trying to stretch it at the same time as holding the fabric in place. You feel like you need an extra pair of hands and this is the extra pair of hands that you need. It's called the Wayliner and it has two wheels at the top here, these rollers, the blue ones, and two at the bottom, the little silver ones, and they act a bit like a conveyor belt so that when you put um, anything on top of the, ma the machine, like your sewing machine or your overlocker, um, the band that you're sewing onto it, um, be it elastic or a waistband, um, is automatically stretched out for you by the wayliner when you're sewing it onto a garment. So what I'm going to do is just flip it round so you can see how easily you can add it on. I'm going to then turn my shorts inside out so that when I pop it onto the wayliner, um, I'm going to pop it just underneath the two silver rollers at the bottom and then I'm going to loop it up around the blue ones as well. So it has to go around all four of the rollers. If you're sewing something very small, you can just use the top two rollers, but for something bigger like this waistband, um, it's, you, you're going to need to use all four. And then you can see that the garment just rolls around um, the rollers there nice and easily for you. And then you take your elastic and that would go over the top I've already sewn the two ends together and then if I come back round to the back I can pop the shorts through and then when you lift the elastic up and over the rollers what they're going to do is stretch it out for you so that you haven't got to worry about doing that whilst doing everything else as well. So it just takes some of the stress out of it for you. So just evening everything up so the elastic's right at the edge. A bit tricky to get to here. There we go. And that's now your elastic stretched out. And then we can take it over to the machine. So you can see here, this is the bed that the overlocker is going to sit on. So I'm going to lift the overlocker up and just slide it in place. Now you can put the overlocker on first and then put the fabric and the elastic in place. But for the purposes of today's tutorial, it's just easier to see with the machine out of the way. Um, and then once you're ready to go, you can see there's a little bit of excess here that I just need to tighten up. So I'm going to use the Allen key that comes with the wayliner. I'm just going to take a grip there on that blue roller and pull it back and then tighten that little um, notch back up again. And you can see now it's nice and springy, it's nice and taut. And then when I put my presser foot down and get it all lined up, I'll just do my first few stitches by hand. That's just habit to make sure everything's lined up and is working smoothly. And then when you're ready to go, you can put your foot down on the foot pedal and it's going to really easily stretch that elastic out for you as you're sewing it on to the top of your shorts so you haven't got to worry about pulling at the back and pulling at the front and worrying you're pulling it through at the right rate the rollers work with the feed dogs on the machine to pull it through so all you have to do is just ever so slightly slide the elastic just to the left so that you're not trimming the edge of the elastic off you're just trimming off the edge of the fabric and it just sews it on for you and the rollers work with the feed dogs just to pull it through so there's no effort involved on your part and then when you come to the end this last little bit you're going to sew all the way up trim off your original tails of your thread pop them out of the way and then do another few stitches past obviously not chopping off your original threads and then what I like to do, because it's quite difficult as you can see to get it off while it's still taut, is just loosen that up again with the Allen key and then you can pop the waistband off. And then just lift the foot and then you can overlock right off and snip. And that's your elastic now added onto the top of your shorts. Really easy, honestly couldn't be easier. And then you just need to top stitch to get it finished. Beautifully gathered, does it all for you. So we'll take it over to the sewing machine. So now I've got my sewing machine on the wayliner. So I haven't changed anything on the wayliner because it was already set up. So the sewing machine just slots in where the overlocker was. And then I put my foot down. And then you can start to sew. You will need to tighten it up again just to make sure that it's taut. You can see it's a little bit slack. So I'm going to take that Allen key again and just pull back and tighten up again. And now it's nice and springy and it's taut. And then you can just sew around. And you can just use a straight stitch with this because obviously you're sewing a woven. 
it's absolutely fine and you're just going to sew right at the very edge of the elastic there just so you're just catching the, the very edge of the elastic on the left if you want to do further rows of stitching um, to the right kind of in the middle and then at the top you can do that's absolutely fine but for today's purposes I'm just going to do this one row of stitching so I'm just coming back down to the beginning and do a couple of stitches reverse and then trim off and there we go so I'll zoom back out and pop the shorts back off the wayliner and the sewing machine and there we go all done really couldn't be easier and here's the finished garment that's what it looks like with the wayliner makes it so easy if you struggle um, dealing with the elastic at the same time as attaching it on it's just you, you like I say you need an extra pair of hands this does it all for you beautifully gathers evenly distributes the excess evenly so you just get a great finish every time you can even use it for sewing elastic onto the bottom of swimwear or underwear um, give it a go